Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, ito ay another certificate for ESL teacher. First, you need to put your first name. Um, yun, middle name. Last name, especially. Then, you can see your certificate will display your full name. Yan yung pangalan na makikita mo. Then, oops, submit. This is teacherrecord.com. Free lang po siya. Free and free to have. So, hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, this is a free, again, TEFL certificate from another, uh, another website. This is from Teacher Record. So, yun. Kailangan natin siyang gawin ngayong gabing to. And this is the coverage or or yung sinasabi nilang yung bagang module course outline. Let's go. Okay, go. First, people should follow up would be appropriate Asian language. Find out when they went and who it. Tick tock toe through. Through through. Submit. Then a good way to deal with latecomers. A good way to deal is ask the students to explain. To explain. Wait, ayaw nyo mapindot. Yun. Then, when giving instruction, it is important to use visual. Yun. Set time limits. Grade your language. Submit. Then, feedback should always be feedback, fair, focused, and constructive. Kailangan ganun yun, yung feedback. Submit again. Then, icebreakers are useful. Uh, building rapport. Encouraging instruction, building rapport. Making the student feel at ease. Wait. Am I right? Yes. Oh, congratulations. You passed this module. Go to the next module. Yun. Yan. Ito na yun. Mahaba, haba. Mahaba siya. Kaya po tayo sa course outline. Then... Test status. We need to start. Kapag tapos ko na dun sa module 2, grammatical awareness, pag nabasa mo na yun. <laughs> okay, test start. Oh, what's happened? No, stop. Can we use non-action verbs in a continuous or progressive tense? No. So, we will submit. Then choose the correct verb form to complete the passive sentence. Choose the correct. Okay. Was being followed. And you so good. Was being followed. Then, can you replace which with that? In the following sentence, the flowers which I love are. Daffodils. Mm, I'm a right friend. No. Submit. Which of the following is an example? Something you would not teach at elementary level. Relative clause. Masyadong malalim. You know, iba na po kasi yun. Then, Look at the sentence. He thought the test was really difficult even though he had studied so hard. Mm, difficult. Which word? 
Low has a different grammatical function. Difficult. Kasi yun yung nangano sa test. In the following sentence, what part of speech is the word bravery? His incredible bravery was rewarded with the badge of honor. Noun. 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 Congratulations, you passed this module. Go to the next module. Then, after that, kung natapos yun na yung module na yan, you need to go to module 3, test. Okay, this is module 3. And this is the first question. Um... Based learning are the only three styles of lesson planning. Lesson planning are the only three styles. Test based learning false. Submit a role play which is thus appropriate production. Yo naman yung mafindut. Production, production. Production, production. What is happening? Choose the correct. Ooh, was being followed. Then, in our oh, first step test. Then, the majority of your lesson should focus on practice stage. Practice stage. False. In the presentation, the pictures could come first. Come first model sentence. Task based learning should involve tasks which is free. The DDD of Rush Dealer, the students through. Then, congratulations, you pass. This is another one, module for building a lesson plan. Yan yung mga ayo ng teachers. So, for module 4, if tapos nyo na nga yung Basahin, you need to go to test, then start. Which of the following options is incorrect? Which of the following options? Wait. Which of is incorrect? The overhead projection can be used to? Okay. Incorrect is practice dialogues. Hindi naman nakakapag-practice ng dialogue doon. Submit. Which of the following is not an example of teaching aid? Not an example of teaching course book. So, yung puppets, the teacher, siya lang yung mga teacher aid, at yung DVD player. Then, if you want to develop your own, 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 own understanding of language, which of the following reference materials would you use? Okay, would you use, okay, grammar for English. Siyempre, gusto mo ng language, di ba? Grammar by Martin Parrot. Yun, paulit-ulit, Parrot. When we are thinking about the Shumlang knowledge, when we are thinking about a Shum knowledge component of a lesson plan, true or false, we ask ourselves what is the purpose of lesson. False. Kasi meron tayong guides. 
When we ask ourselves, how can I deal with any problems? When we ask ourselves, how can I deal with any problems? This relate to which component? So, potential solutions. Then, which of these stages should come first? Listen to conversation between... Hmm. Okay, task-based learning involves tasks which is free. Matagal siya. Free, free, free. Then, DTT tailor students. Tailor your lesson through... But para na ulit? Uy, Lods. Through. Ayoko tantanan. Through. Course books should always... Course books should always prepare students for practicum exam. False. It's not about preparation. It's the understanding, you know. And application also in daily life not just on exam but in life which of the following is an example of personal aim which of the following is example to reduce teacher talk time kasi minsan nagkukwento na si teacher ng storya ng buhay niya Read two stages from a lesson plan. Okay, ang sagot dito, student check in pairs, feeding before feeding back. Which of the following examples of supplementary materials? Ang haba naman kasi nito. Wait lang. Supplementary materials. Um, graded reader games then videos dictionaries you need to you know oh then you so guys after the module 4 you need to go to module 5 which is using games and controlled practices then test so, what if error has been made in the sentence? I know here's... Oh, so... Grammar incorrect tense. That's the answer. Then submit. Which of the following is communicative activity? Informative cup sleep split. And... Submit which of the following is um, characteristic of cognitive teaching. People learn a language through communicating. Yes, communicating. We learn from different persons communicating. Then, communicative Language teaching aims to link language to text. Then, communicative activities focus on information through, 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 submit. Then, congratulations, go to module. Hello guys, this is again module 6. Lexis, Phonologies, and Functional Language. So, after that, you need to start the test. Click the test. Then, when I which panim does the A in day correspond to? Oh, which panim? Oh, the answer is letter. Which letter? C. Wait, I'm a pin. C. Uy, 
<laughs> yan submit hmm. which of the exponents has the function of agreeing true agree eh. true <laughs> true 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 surely not true nga yon which of the following words contain diphthong diphthong what diphthongo make make then what prefix can we add to the word paid unpaid prefix which word is stressed on the second syllable important importante important Sobrang tagal, Lods. Important. What is a homonym? Two words which have the same pronunciation, same spelling, but different meanings. That is homonym. Submit. Oh, congratulations again. Go to the next. So, hello again. So, we are in the module 12. From module 7 to module 12, pinag-isa na nila. So, this is the test. Start the test. Then, if your class get out of hand, it's okay. To bang, to get attention, false. Shout. Dapat hindi yun okay sa inyo, teacher. Mali yun. Be, a f be fair and firm on enforcing rules. Para sa akin, true. Enforcing rules. Be fair kasi. True kasi. Kailangan mo maging fair teacher. Ikaw as a teacher. Oh no. It's not working again. What happened? Oh, ayaw talaga, guys. No? Magawa oh, one, two minutes na. Hindi pa rin. Yun. True. Submit. When using a story to illustrate your chosen target language, false yan. False. Acceptable to... False, nga, false, false, false. Kainish. False. Pinaano ano. Always try to be serious in the classroom or students will not, not respect you. False. Di ibig sabihin, sorry, yung seryoso ko, re-respetuhin ka na din. Sometimes, dun ka pa nababastos ng estudyante. Learn the children's names as soon as you can always use them. True. Kasi, mahal nang. Yun, pass, go to the next module. Um, so, everyone, this will be the last part of the TEFL program for teachers. Um, not only for teachers. So, module 30, classroom survival. <laughs> Natawa naman ako dun sa survival. Parang, yun, you know. So, this is, click the test. If you're done, click that. Then, you will see this. Oops, nag-zoom. When playing A to C, according to this, which list lexical set would lend into um, itself best to this game? Mm, hobbies. Okay, that will be the answer. Hobby. Hobbies. Submit. Then, on teaching a new elementary class of 30 students with limited resources, would it better to giving students uh, nouns of classroom objects and instructions them to stick them to correct objects? Submit.
Then, when teaching large class of 50, it's understandable to not address each student by name. Mm. When false, 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 false. Submit to reduce marking of large class. It's okay to give less homework. False. Hindi ibig sabihin. Submit. Following on brainstorming the advantages in this image of fast food. What could be practical following? Ask students to decide on their opinion and have a debate. Yes. It's the answer. Debate. Congratulations! Yun yung Your completion of TEFL. Yun. Hindi ko na nakita. Congratulations on your completion. Teacher, I can fill in your info. Yun, guys. May info pa pala. So, nationality. Wait. Ayaw niya. Yes. Oh, what? Ayaw. So, Philippines. Where is Philippines? In Philippines. Pilipinas. Kuminamahal. On Philippines. Then, identity document. Law. ID. Passport. Patay. ID. Um, identity number. Wala, hindi ko alam identity number ng ano ko. Wait lang. Please enter the number of selected document. Sige. Sandali lang naman. Ano ba to? Ay lang ko yung number. Wait lang guys. Kasi you know, I have pill health lang. Pill health pa lang yung number ko. So this... Twenty five zero nine thirty five thirty nine. Sana may national ID ng Pinas. Tapos one. Then mag-upload ako para dun sa document. Punta ako sa files. Then, ano ba yan? Punta tayo sa albums. Tapos, Punta natin yung important. Kasi meron talaga ako yan. Importante. Yan. Wala. Upload success. Tapos X. Si X. And tapos click to preview. Yan yung magiging certificate. Wow! Yan yung certificate ko guys. Zoom natin. Yes. Yes. Pasilip. And pasilip natin. Okay? Ayan preview lang. Oh, sige. Then, after that, submit. Submit na tier for, oh, wow. Submitted na siya. Yun, tapos, under, ano pa siya. Um, your submission of identity information in your has been passed on to our team for manual review. This process may take approximately on three business days. When identity has passed, review you will receive an email about issuing. Yan, may, may email na kayo after that. Diba? Sobrang happy. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you like, share, and subscribe this on others. Thank you. Thank you. Tapos makikita nyo TFL to download na yan. Ha? Bye-bye. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget.